Well, Pittsburgh is a town that is used to championships from Steelers dynasties to Stanley Cups and the World Series as well. But there is another Pittsburgh championship you may not know about. It attracts some of the best pinball players in the world. It is the Professional Amateur Pinball Association's World Championship Tournament held this year in Carnegie. On cue's Dave and Dave have that story. This is the world headquarters for the Professional Amateur Pinball Association. Well, there's 40,000 square feet. There's about 400 pinball machines. It seems to be a wide array of uh, different machines. Yeah, they go back to about the 60s here, and all the way up to today. So this is one guy's collection. Yeah. All of these machines in here, they, they actually live here. Yeah, they're here all year, and this building is only open one time a year for this tournament. This is the fourth year we've had it here. It's Papa 10, the Professional Amateur Pinball Association 10. They used to do it in New York City. This is the fourth year here in Pittsburgh. It doesn't get any bigger than this. This There's is it. No, no doubt, and people come from all over the world to compete in this. This is the largest tournament, the best run tournament. We definitely have the best players in the world here. There's people from Sweden, uh, Germany, uh, Switzerland, Canada, all over the United States. Canada, that is exotic. Yeah. How does the tournament work? We have three main divisions. The A division is the, the best players. They're playing for a $10,000 prize. And we have the B division, which is intermediate players. And then there's the C division which is people who would play casually, know a few rules. Ready, here we go. So are pinball players a different breed? Definitely. <laughs> Where are you from? Born and raised in New York City. From San Diego. I live in Seattle. Oh, I'm from Vancouver, BC, Canada. Salem, Massachusetts. I'm from Stockholm, Sweden. I can't help but notice there's mostly guys here. That's true. Yet you're not a guy. I am not a guy. And you like pinball? Yes, I love pinball. This is absolutely pinball heaven for an entire weekend. Look at this. <laughs> and New York has nothing like this. I mean, there's hundreds of games here. This tournament is like having Michael Jordan, Larry Bird, Kobe Bryant, all of the best players at their top level every game. So what's the longest you've ever played, like, straight? Five hours. Five hours. Is this your job? No way. I'm a writer for high school math textbooks. I just started working as a power broker. I match buyers and sellers of energy. I just You're came. the one. <laughs> I've been meaning it's to a, find you. It's a new book. You have a nickname, right? The Storm. Why I the Storm? Well, I feel like it suits me because I'm very volatile when I play. And also, I, I'm a rapper, and I, I rap under the name The Storm. I did the first rap song about the stock market. And so on the floor of the American Stock Exchange, I sold a couple of hundred copies. Okay, but you have a pinball wrap, right? I'm working on it right now. Can you give us a little of it? Exactly. You can't believe what you're seeing. After the game put up my name, I'm the grand champion. That's, that's going to be the hook. Are there pinball injuries? On a pinball game, you can, you can bang your wrist into the game to try and save the ball. I get bruises when I play. I've had players get mad, actually slam their fist through the glass and, and, and hurt their hand. Yeah, I dinged my knee yesterday on a machine. The, the only thing that will really come up is if you play a lot and you start to feel it in your wrist, just like a regular carpal, carpal tunnel, tunnel s yeah. situation. Did you ever wish you were born with, say, flippers instead of hands? Nah, I like my hands. I actually physically train for this. It sounds ridiculous to physically train for pinball, but I'm telling you, you work your back, you work your muscles just standing up all day. It's kind of like a triathlon without all the swimming, the biking, and the running. Exactly. Is there one piece of advice, one tip to make us better players? Don't flip both flippers at the same time. That would be a telltale sign that you know we're not like... Yes. The next thing is, I would say, flip less. Don't always hit the buttons. If the ball is coming towards the flipper, sometimes better to let it bounce over to the other one. Let go of the button after you shoot the ball. What if we don't flip at all? Would that help us a lot? No. Eventually, the ball will go. <laughs> what happens sometimes is the player will shoot the ball, it'll bounce off something and carry right back at them, and they'll be totally unprepared because they're still holding the button and the flipper is up. Once the ball's in the wild like that, try to catch and cradle as often as I can. I think it's like pretty much like everything else. The more you play, the better you get. Either you got that or you don't. You know, some people can, just can't sing, you know? <laughs>
So why pinball? Video games and all the other things going on, why pinball? Because it's real, you're never going to have the exact same thing twice. It becomes very immersive. Not like a video game where you can memorize patterns. I love pinball because it's more of a physical game. With a video game, if you actually play it a lot, you can actually almost close your eyes, do the same thing over and over, and it will be the same thing over and over. It's always a new game of pinball, every time. And this year's champion, Jordan Engelbrexton from Sweden. He took home the $10,000 prize and the title of world champion.